Hello everyone, today I'm sharing my cleaning routine with you all and hopefully this motivates you and gets you in the mood to clean up with me. If you can't be bothered cleaning then I hope when you watch this video that it gets you off the sofa or out of your comfy chair and you hack your chores. Drown yourself in the neon You came to this place to hide away in the dark You tell yourself you need to move on but when not in the shadows can ease your broken heart In today's UK Clean With Me, I'm sharing a couple of great cleaning tips and hacks. The first one is using Barkeeper's Friend for removing aluminium marks from your sink, which are left behind from pans and stuff like that. So if you have a white ceramic sink like mine, you will notice that you do get quite a few aluminium marks and Barkeeper's Friend is absolutely fantastic for removing this. Also for also for removing tea stains from spoons and teacups and knife and fork marks off your white plate. So on the plate that I'm cleaning now, it did have quite a few knife and fork marks. So just using a little bit of the Barkeeper's Friend stain remover removes those from the plate and leaves them all nice and clean. Even the dishwasher can't remove any aluminium marks. So using the Barkeeper's Friend is absolutely brilliant and works every time. An extra little cleaning tip is you can also use Barkeeper's Friend on your bathroom basin for removing razor marks. So if your husband or son or partner has a shave in the morning and taps their razor on the edge of the sink, you'll notice that you do get quite a few little silver aluminium marks. Sometimes it can happen just off the plug also. So try a little bit of Barkeeper's Friend and it will remove any marks off your bathroom basin also. I'm going to use my trusty sponge cloth to drink up any water that's been left on any of the surfaces. I love to use this inside the sink also so all the water is taken off and the ceramic sink just shines perfectly. I also rub it over the counters where I've used any cleaner. It stops leaving any streaks or marks. It just leaves a lovely shine. Highly recommend the sponge cloth for leaving that perfect shine on your counters.
weather didn't look too great when I was putting the washing on the line, but it was actually a scorching hot day. It was 20 degrees. I say, say scorching hot because obviously we're not used to that type of weather in the UK. So although it was overcast, it was very warm and close. I'd already got a wash dry on the washing line, which I'd put out around half seven in the morning and it was dry within an hour or so. So perfect weather for washing. I'm now going to make some tuna pitters with a little bit of salad i just toast the pitta mixed a little bit of tuna and mayonnaise and put some salad on as you're going to see add a little sprinkle of cheese and this makes the perfect lunch if you just want something that's going to be filling and satisfying which is what i wanted today because i was very hungry and with filming a cleaning video i knew i needed to fuel my body so i wanted something nice something healthy and this made the perfect lunch i highly recommend that you try it it's so nice actually enjoyed our lunch al fresco style <laughs> we sat in the garden and had our tuna pita breads out there because the weather's lovely although it does look quite overcast it was a really nice day and we enjoyed our lunch so i thought i'll give the table a little wipe over because the last thing i want to do is leave any crumbs that encourage any unwanted guests in our garden like ants or anything that would go foraging and looking for little crumbs so i thought i'll clean the table off and then we'll move into the dining room and get cracking and clean the dining room because the dining table was dirty the shutters were dirty and it just needed a good old clean in this room Sunlight that always stays Dinner by the waterway It's that sweet life Raise your before I forget, I'm just going to quickly let you know that the curtains that are up now are not the curtains that are staying. These were just a temporary measure for me to get used to having curtains. So the company that are making my curtains haven't finished them yet and I can only presume that she's really, really busy because she's just come out of lockdown and she's wanting to earn money and do bookings that maybe had been delayed or, you know, 
put on hold due to COVID. So my curtains aren't ready yet, but they are in the process of being made. And I'm pretty sure as soon as they're done, she will let me know. She has the fabric and everything else to make them, but I'm hoping it's going to be within the next few weeks. So these curtains are only a temporary measure just for me to get used to it, but I will be putting these into the office once the new curtains have gone up. But I absolutely love these ones. They're really nice. I could get used to, to the white fabric and I'm not going white. Mine are going to be like a creamy beige colour. So very different, but I could get used to the white. I really like them. This might be right. Either you feel it or you don't. Might give it a try, yeah. Our bodies collide. never been stronger I'm up in the clouds when you're around but when you're not it's getting much harder and I'm falling down down I'm falling down I see your face on all of the pages in the scrapbook
All that's left to do now is clean the floors and one of the things that I get asked quite a lot on my YouTube is do I still use my aircraft power glide? Absolutely, I use it probably every single day and if the battery's flat then I'll swap it out for my little boner mop but if the battery is flat, that's the only time that it doesn't get used. Other than that, I use my Bona Floor Cleaner with the Aircraft Power Glide and together they make an amazing team. So yeah, I still use my Power Glide and I absolutely love it. I just need to start remembering to charge it more. That's the only thing I forget to put it on charge, but you'll be happy to know that I put it on charge after this clean and it's fully charged, ready to go for next time. I really hope that this video has given you lots of cleaner motivation and got you in the mood to get your housework done and got you in the mood to clean off the sofa. We burned some calories together and we've done it. We can now sit down with a cup of tea, reward ourselves with a little cake or a little bit of chocolate and know that we done our housework, it's done. Thanks so much for watching everyone and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye for now.